Inspired by her son, this woman is creating sweet opportunities inside her bakery. We don't see the disability, we only see the abilities. She wants to create a social revolution, hoping other businesses will follow in her footsteps. It's World Autism Month and nationally about 90% of adults with autism either don't have a job or are underemployed. One woman has made it her business to employ those on the autism spectrum and she wants others to start doing the same. David Bennett loves working at a bakery. I like packaging macarons. The 24-year-old has autism along with all of the employees at Miami is Kind Bakery in Miami, Florida. We bake macarons and cookies to employ bakers that have autism. Sylvia Planis Pratt created the bakery with her son in mind. My eldest son, Mark, that is now a teenager, uh, he has autism, and he was the one that inspired me. With a high unemployment rate among adults with autism in the U.S., Sylvia set out to make a change. We don't see the disability, we only see the abilities. But not everyone agreed. An insurance agency wanted to add a clause preventing her employees from using the oven. I cracked laughing. I said, come on, how can you ask a baker not to touch an oven? In fact, she says workers on the spectrum are less likely to make mistakes because they don't take shortcuts. They just follow the procedures one step after the other. Each employee has a specific job based on his or her unique personality. Sylvia says Michael, who boxes the cookies, is a perfectionist. The boxes will always look perfect, and the laces will be perfect. Becoming a baker taught Lexus a lot about business. She taught me how to be responsible and how to be on time. Now she wants to work events. I want to sell more. Creating a sweet way to expand the workforce. You know, each box comes with a personalized tag written by the employee who made them. And Sylvia says her goal is to sell a million cookies by next year so that she can hire more employees. And of course, all of them uh, with autism. More power to her. What a sweet it, story. It's, it's a great way of thinking. That's what the Michigan uh, Autism Alliance uh, it works toward thinking that way. And their big gala is coming up Saturday night downtown Detroit. And I'll be uh, honored to be their MC. Very fitting.